Right, Brian. So we're doing a um, little bit of uh, Californication there. So I said I'd just show you that real quick with this video. So we're just starting off with an A minor seven shape. Now we're not playing the seven, so it doesn't really matter, but this is all you need. So first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, okay? So in the A, open A string, the uh, D string, skip in the G string, open B. So there's your first one there. And that should be down, 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 up, okay? Then next one, is first fret sixth string, third fret on the um, A string. And with this one, uh, you can use your third finger if you want, or your little finger, whichever helps you reach better. So hitting these two, sixth string, fifth string, and then the open G string first, and then the middle finger comes down, it should be your middle finger anyway, on the um, second fret of the G string. So that's... So the guitar part alone is just three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So then there's the uh, the bass part as well. So on its own, that goes like this. Nope. So that's. Open A string, second fret on the D. Then you've got that. Hit, pick the open one, hammer on, pull off, third fret on the A string. And they all have to be the same length, so it can't be like that, okay? It's gotta be. So we've got. And then that should lead on straight in to the F, right? So you kind of keep that there and then you're into the F, so. Um, so first fret, then open D string and then come back to the third fret. So then when you combine the two, it should be. And every second time round, instead of going open D to the third fret of the A, you go third fret of the D string to the open D. So one more time. Open D to A string. So you can just get that in with your little finger there as well. But you don't need to worry too much about putting the bass line in there anyway, because, you know, the guitar line just is what it is. That's just... Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you're getting bogged down and trying to fit the bass line in there as well, just have a bit of, bit of fun with just the guitar part, because it's nice to play on its own, just have that chord kind of not, you know, ringing out and not being under pressure to get to get other stuff in there as well. So I'd say just get the guitar riff on its own down first. And then if you want to add in the bass line, then uh, give it a go. But uh, make sure the guitar part is smooth first before you put that in. All right. I'll see you next time.